Well, the NASA thought they had me. They thought wrong. And now, we're on the verge of finally controlling the territory we should have controlled from the very beginning of the game. Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Stellaris Federations in our Final Federation 2 series. Look where we are. This is Miric. We control it. We have more reinforcements pouring in all the time. The second fleet is on the way to Real Samot to take that, and they will officially, the NASA will officially not control any more territory belonging to me. Meanwhile, we have reinforcements pouring in. I think I already said that, but they're just, they're coming. The ships are coming from Sirius, in fact. We have a store fortress upgrade happening here, but the shipyard is actually not building any ships at the moment. Why is that? That makes me sad. But the point is, the ships are on the way. More will be on the way, because we are yet to fully replenish the fleet. Meanwhile, the economy is starting to roar, and as soon as we can get out of this war... Hang on, let's take a quick look. Because this has been a lovely, dicey situation. All right, so these truces last until roughly a year and three months from now. And then we could very well get declared on again by the other guys. I'm not as worried about them anymore because, again, these guys kind of have to go up against the Rock Rock. But the lock and mechanists, mechanists could decide <laughs> that they want to come down and hit Inagor, which uh, would be a problem if it wasn't ready, which it probably won't be ready. But what we will likely do is defederate with the Rock Rock and see if we can associate with another federation in the area because I'm just, I'm, I'm so tired. Like everybody hates them. And I think it's time we broke up with them because, uh, well, do I really need to explain it to you? Have you been watching the series? I think it's pretty clear to be completely honest. Let's go back to speed two. Again, the second fleet is going to take real Simote and come right back. Oh, Hey, new tradition. Did we just get, Oh yeah, that's right. We got galactic force, pro uh, projection. So now we have a brand new should we go with domination? So domination is good for internal management. And it does affect resource output at one point. Also influence. I'm just taking a look at the overall benefits. These are constantly changing patch to patch. So I think what I'd rather do is go for domination first. We haven't had a problem with food for the entire series, so adopting this for the pot food consumption bonus isn't appealing to me right away. And then these things are definitely useful, but not right now. Domination, we will definitely be moving towards the ability in just a couple of traditions. In two more traditions after this one, we will be able to increase our resource output from workers by 5%, plus just adopting this reduce. Well, the adoption effect is actually not that great. It's just a clearing blocker cost is reduced by a third. But still, I think that's the way to go. So that's the way we shall go. Once I build back up to 250, we also have an unspent civic point to deal with. I'm gonna keep giving orders here. Oh, this is glorious. So now I just need the rock rock not to do anything stupid up here. And this war will uh, come to a pretty swift conclusion, I imagine. Oh man, look at the sheer number of defense platforms. Now the Mighton Station, since we control it again, can build platforms. I think for now I'm just going to give the order to build some additional defenses and a defense grid supercomputer. Although, to tell you that I'm going to... Hmm, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to worry about that because it's not going to be done building in time Ship and we're certainly not going to have... Applied. The Mighton Station is not going to be Ship a thing upgrades. for much longer. Applied. The Zirin Concern has declared a rivalry. La de frickin' da. Alright, so now we are at... Oh, Ship interesting. Upgrades. Applied. Monthly influence gain has gone down slightly. Federation level has been unlocked. See, this makes me sad, though, because now we're at level 3 Federation. We gain one unity for each envoy assigned to the Federation. Ship speed has increased by 10% while in Federation space. And Federation influence gain has increased by 1%. So it's like, you know, we are improving our cohesion. Just, God, look at their economy compared to ours. We're twice as powerful as them. Yeah, we do have conflicting ethics. Mm, yeah, I can't do anything centralization-wise. Not until I switch ethics. And let's take a look at that. We haven't looked at that in at least a whole episode. 
Yeah, see, because we no longer have our military chancellor. That was an oversight during the last episode. So we don't have as many... All right, it's actually declining at the moment. So let's take a quick look at what I might be able to do to fix this. We're promoting Operation Battlecry. Could I just start suppressing the Xenophile faction? I mean, they are the largest faction. So I'm just going to... I'll start suppressing them. It's going to take some influence away, sadly. Okay, and we're going to continue to reinforce as much as possible. All right, Real Simone's going to fall pretty fast. And we will get some resources back for that. There's a pretty noticeable Research change concluded. when we turn things around and retook all those systems. Like, the economy definitely stabilized. Okay, good. Resources from jobs plus 5%. Habitability will help a lot with that, too. Fleet command limit. Ooh, I was waiting for more command limit for a long time. But habitability plus five would also help economically. That's tough. I'm going to go ahead and say fleet command limit plus 20, though. Because especially if we end up fighting more wars, if we can't break away from the rock rock fast enough when this war ends, we might not have any choice. Now, where can I upgrade you? Oh, good. Hades. That's close by. Yeah, Hades has a couple of shipyards. Knowledge is the key so that's to the super universe. useful. Zero point reactor is done. Wonderful news. Gamma laser or neutron launchers, maybe? Let's go ahead and research neutron launchers. We don't have any torpedo launchers on our designs yet, but we can fix that. Now let's go ahead and get these upgrades done. Can't take that long. Plus, if there are shipyards on Hades... Knowledge is the key. I thought to that the wasn't universe. happening. That's really interesting. So now Hades is definitely my station from previously, and now I can use it. I was just talking to a commenter the other day about how it seems strange that if I've recaptured one of my stations in the middle of a war, that one will not work for me. But now it appears that it is working. So there must be something that works and something that doesn't, or something that changed. I'm not sure. City district housing plus one. Yes, that is absolutely what I'm going to go for right now. Without a doubt. All right, this is going to be a very interesting year because this war is not ending. And in 10 months, everyone might declare on me again. Or at least declare on the Rock Rock. And we're going to have to fight all these jerks again. If the same thing happens, which it might not. The Natsa might be the ones that are super, super militarized and like constantly wanting to invade me. But I'm going to assume that they're going to hit me hard. All right, let's go ahead and upgrade all those stations. Actually, you know what? Cancel that. Belay that. I want my ships to upgrade first. Okay, it's actually not happening. I guess they need to upgrade in Mighton. Is there... No, there's not a shipyard here. So yeah, they'd have to go all the way to Fianita to upgrade. They could. Nothing would stop me, but what I would rather do is... Go ahead and move through their territory and try and end this war. Good, you're following the first fleet. That's what you should be doing. Let's see if we can start to take away some of their economic power a little bit just by taking this box of systems. We had these claimed anyway, so I would love to take some additional territory from them after what they've put me through. And if they make the mistake of sending one of their fleets, they are going to regret it a lot. Because they should be sending more than one to take on my combined forces. Economy getting a lot better. Hang on, pause. We have a lot of unemployment here, though. We can add considerably more bureaucrat jobs if I do that. How am I doing on moats? Uh, I wish more housing was provided by this. What about this? All right, so this would create an additional enforcer job and administrator job. So really, I need to do both of these upgrades. I'm going to start with the alloy megafergers. I think we already have megafergers there. There we go. Yep. <laughs> One day, I'll go back to calling them megaforges. One day. But it is not this day. It is not. 
Okay, I can definitely go ahead and upgrade you. But I do need to keep an eye. Actually, I don't need to upgrade you, though, because my mineral income is great right now, and I prefer to keep it that way. All right, Corvette complement has been completely rebuilt in this fleet. I wish I could upgrade these ships, but we're in the middle of punishing these bastards. How are we doing here, by the way? No, 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 that's not what I want. I want the claim screen. I could totally take more of their territory from them. Yeah, status quo peace would be great. What if I claimed Zempic and Pudanus? If I took Pudanus, that would separate this entire arm of their territory and make it a lot harder for them to move around unless they brought a ship all the way up through here. So that seems like something that might be worth doing. Plus, there's a lot of minerals there. Let's go ahead and claim that. Just to make their lives difficult. 120, really? That's a lot. Never mind. Thought it was going to be cheaper than that. <laughs> Never mind. Just kidding. Not going to do that. Not interested, thanks. Pause. Yes, absolutely build another mining district. We need the housing. Yeah, this is the most liberally I've pursued that policy of just building districts when the jobs aren't available yet. It's kind of like the way I was acting when the district system was first launched, and people were like, don't do that. And I, that, I was more, at that point, just trying to build in advance of everything, whereas now I am more reactive. But right now, I'm... It's a bit of a different response. And it's working out decently. Our energy income is freaking fantastic right now. And once we can repair that damn thing, wherever it is, the um, ruined megastructure, the matter decompressor, we'll be in even better shape. Construction completed. You guys gonna, you guys gonna come fight me or are you just gonna let me run all over you? Cause I mean, by all means, I, I could keep doing this. I could take all of your resources. Yeah, part of the reason our income is doing this well. I think it's in part because our trade value, our trade network is finally connected. So what we're seeing is a, a jump in trade because we can finally get our trade ships through this occupied territory. Oh, hey, the Rock Rock are sending a relatively sizable fleet to help out. Maybe we will stay with them just because they're finally behaving. But I'm going to guess that they're going to go in the opposite direction at the last minute for no good reason whatsoever. That would be my hypothesis. I have reason to believe that might happen. Okay. Let's keep going. Part of me wants to just hit them here, but it seems like all, yeah, yeah, that's all their fleets. That's everything. So I don't know that I want to attack that, but I will attack this and this and this, and then double back to Roshon. Ooh, ooh, what you doing? What you doing? What you doing? You going to try and fight me? You can try and fight me if you want. The Rock Rock are coming to help me, so... uh Actually, this could be really bad if those truces expire and then everyone else declares war on the Rock Rock while all their forces are down here. This could be really bad. Knowledge is the key to the universe. All right, good. That's huge because everywhere where you're seeing a housing problem right now, that's about to go away. Improve strike craft. Probably need to go ahead and do that. But cruiser hull points plus 500. Ooh. Yeah, let me do that first. A war has erupted. Not on us, thank God. When that when that came on the screen, I was like, oh, for God's sake, here it comes. But no. I do have the ability to build... Ooh, perfect. I need a mineral, mineral purification plant there. Now, for some reason, these notifications haven't gone away, so I guess that one extra housing wasn't quite enough. Eh... Maybe I will build another city district here. I'll start breaking my own rules. Start building a few more city districts. Another mining district there, though. All right, we're going to eliminate that fleet while they're dumb enough to fly free. I don't know what you think you're doing, but it's not going to work for you. And this is why. <laughs> Bye. Bye. 
Peace out. Oh, man, that felt good. Please reconquer Zempic for me. That would be appreciated. All right, there's that. So where are you guys coming? All right, you, tell you what, let's fly here. And then take that. 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 And then that. Surely that'll help push the war score to the point where it needs to be. Terra Nova, you also need some love. A military academy on one of my planets wouldn't be the worst thing. Yeah. Look at our freaking economy now. It's through the roof. All right, so let's take a look at which resources I need my, right now. Chemical plants. Yep. Let's go. This is what... Now, <laughs> it's like we're rubber banding a little bit. I don't want to jinx it yet, but we've been wound up in the wrong direction, doing everything we can to push in the right direction, and now things are springing. Springing forward. Sorry, had a hiccup while I was saying that. But anyway, they're springing forward in a way that we've been waiting for them to for the entire freaking game. Okay, uh, definitely upgrade you guys. Victoria, Brooklyn, Pembroke. Victoria, Brooklyn. Okay. We'll just go with those two for now. What else can I build here? A defense grid supercomputer in Sirius probably wouldn't be the worst thing. I'll go ahead and give the order. Yeah, the Rock Rock are getting serious. Finally. We should have done this an age ago. They're, they know that I'm Ship thinking about leaving them. That's applied. what's happening. And they're like, maybe, maybe we should act like worthwhile allies. Maybe we should act like we actually care about you. And that your wars and conflicts that have occurred on our account weigh on our consciences, consciences heavily. And I, th I think that's what they're doing. I think that's what the AI is actually calculating. Crystal and sensors edict has expired. We can re-up that. Yeah, I'm doing fine on crystals. I can also do focusing crystals for extra energy weapon damage. That's a little bit more expensive, but we still have them. Also, I'm going to try and keep a pool of 300 plus Knowledge influence for when those to the economic edicts expire because we kind of need those. Okay, I need to expand my fleets in just a moment, but first, I, I'm also going to do some some redesigns. Extra starbase capacity sounds like a really good idea. All these things sound like a really good good idea, honestly. But let's go ahead and do commerce megaplexes now. Very importantly, some of my larger ships. Yep. I want you to have a giant. Oh, of course, a of course, that's currently being built. Of course, you would steal my thunder like that. All right, so the Agrippa class. Well, no, let's let's not do it on the Agrippa. However, on the Hannibal, which is an artillery class ship, we will absolutely put some torpedoes on the front. I don't have any medium defense platforms. All of them have small weapons like this. Hmm. What are you guys doing? Are you are you just flying around like idiots? Is that what's happening right now? Probably. Mineral purification plant. Yeah, economy finally, finally coming into its own. Oh, you know what we can do again? We've been waiting to do this forever. We should become your patron. It's a deal. Can you aid us in our research? We would like to purchase. Thank you. Now it's going to suck because now that's going to come up and cost 10k energy every time both of those expire. But it's a step in the right direction. So I think they're trying to hit Zempek again with a new armada. I don't know what they're doing. I guess they're feeling like they're on the defensive now. As well they should. Let's just be honest. After that victory in Sirius, mop the floor with them. Well, it didn't quite mop the floor. But we won when we shouldn't have won. Let's put it that way. 
All right, let's say three volatile moats per month because we have an awesome energy income now. I could even do more. Let's go ahead and say three rare crystals a month. If the economy continues to kick this much butt, I might step those up because why not? I probably should have stepped them up already, but I like the idea of just building up a big energy surplus for now. All right, so the Mighton station, I'm not going to mess with that anymore. I do want to give the order to do those upgrades, but I want to save my current alloy income. Ooh. Pause. Rock Rock High Kingdom wishes to sign peace with the Tumbator free traders. So this will end this war. As a status quo. So I, I think that means that we would get all of this. Oh my god. We did it. We did it. All right, guys. Holy crap. We did it. We're not at war. We can break up with the rock rock if we want to. How much did the Natsa hate me right now? Yeah, they're pretty hostile. Yeah, you guys have been nothing but pain for me for a while now. But I'll tell you one thing I can definitely do right now since we just signed a truce with them. The Kazvik Station is a huge defensive bastion, so I might leave that one up. The Izok Station, I'm going to downgrade. The Mighton Station, I'm going to downgrade because these were all these were all circumstantially created. And you know what we're going to do now? You know what we're going to do now? We are also going to break down the Hades Station. And we're going to build a starbase up in Mirak. A starbase like none you have ever freaking seen. Oh, thank God. All right. Um, I do need more minerals, so we'll go ahead and do that. Same thing here. Well, more food would be nice, too, just to keep it on the safe side. Food is generally in a good position right now, but... Let's do another generator there, because this is already counting as a generator world, and it looks like we can really start thinking about some of our upgrades now. We have nine extra rare crystals per turn, so anything that can upgrade with rare crystals, let's go ahead and upgrade to the system capital complex on Earth. So, I just need to keep an eye on mineral income, because it's not just about... Oh, yeah, I can definitely do that. It's not just about whether you can afford it in terms of the rare resource upkeep. There also is mineral upkeep, so you have to bear that in mind. All right, I'm just going to let the resources come in for a second. Although, one thing I could do here. <laughs> okay. That was easy. Never mind, we're not just going to let the resources come in. I can upgrade you to a system capital complex. I can upgrade you to a system capital complex. Man, this is all needed to happen for so long. All right, these are definitely going to become mega forges. We don't quite have the volatile mode income, but we're building chemical plants on one planet, so we can keep doing that too. One thing we can definitely do before long is go ahead and finish off the shard, as well as, since we'll have that relic world finally, we can also take on the enigmatic fortress before too much longer. Oh, which reminds me, I also added some command limit to my fleets, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. Four... All right, that's the Divine Glory class. I can definitely bump this up to... Okay, good to know. So two of each battleship type. Glorious. This feels so good right now. Look at that. Look at that. We finally control the territory we should have controlled the whole damn time. Yes, I could build stations there. I don't even care. I'm going to build them in Mirak. Don't even care. We have such a great energy income right now. You know what I could do? I can go to policies. And I could switch to 
consumer benefits, or I could even switch to marketplace of ideas and start generating more unity because we have so much energy. This would cut our trade income in half, though. So we would lose, oh yeah, wow, 250, 285 and a half. Hmm, never mind, not worth it. I'd rather just enjoy the energy income for now, but that's something we can definitely consider in the future. All right, so the question is, do I break up with the Rock Rock in order to stop getting declared on constantly? I could leave the Federation. Yeah, they won't be happy. Wouldn't it be hilarious if they declared on me? But at this point, if we look at the opinion of these guys... They don't like that we're pacifist cowards. Cowards, excuse me. I don't know if that would improve the Nats' opinion of us too much. I think I'm going to stick with the Rock Rock for now. Because I feel like we've got the defensive position that we want. I'm going to start kicking the Nats' authority's ass and maybe just make everyone realize the mistake that they made by crossing the Celestial Alliance by the end of the series. I mean, the Elgates are about to get investigated, unfortunately, unless we can somehow beat those empires to that punch, which I very much doubt. We could try. Right, the Fianita station is not connected to the trade network. Really? Is that so? Well, in that case, let me fix that for you. I'm confused. How is it not connected? Aha, here we go. Did that fix it? No. Oh, wait. There's a break in the line somewhere, and I'm not seeing it. So if we select Kazvek, it's the only one that's showing that it's disconnected. How is it disconnected? See, now I'm being thrown, because I've fixed this before, but not in this series, but it just has to do with the fact that I think Mirik has recently re-entered our territory. So it's a matter of, like... Okay, so this is our trade capital. All of these systems are connected. How is the Fianita system not connected? It says it's connected. Um, research concluded. Okay. Well, tell you what. I'm going to stop this episode here and figure this out because we're at the 29 minute mark anyway. And I need to understand why this is happening and either figure it out by the beginning of the next episode or talk to you guys before I record the next one, which is always a possibility and figure out what the heck's going on here because I don't, I don't see... I don't see a break in this line. Sirius is connected. You can see that. Caspic is connected. You can see that. Interesting. You know one thing we can definitely do, though? <laughs> we can get a station set up in Pergafa and, and harvest all that trade value, because that needs to happen. Anyway, 
I'm gonna stop this one here. Well, let's make some, let's at least make some research decisions real quick. No, I'll do that at the beginning of the next episode too. We got lots of research decisions to uh, to make, so we'll let those stand. But for now, I'll go ahead and close that and all those will pop up. I will stop this one here. We're finally done with the Nazi Authority War. We won and we got a bunch of territory from them. And then some. I just, I'm, I'm beside myself. I'm ecstatic. This is going to be great. So uh, I need to stop this recording so I can actually upload an episode to YouTube for today. But thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at 4 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.